Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I just want to take a moment and thank my subscribers for joining me again tonight. It means the world to me to have your support. And if you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and I look forward to your helpful comments and suggestions. And anyway, so let's get into this. So as you know, I'm, I'm, I am behind. I, um, I did go on vacation uh, this month of December. I, I'm still working 12, 14 hour days at work, work on the weekends. So I've been trying to keep track in those little calendars that I got in that folio that I got from the Erin Condren seasonal box and that's really helping me kind of keep track so that I don't have to look back at this and just kind of remember what went on during the week so right now that's how I'm using one of those uh, little calendars in that folio is just to kind of keep track so until I can get on a schedule I can at least try to fill this in accurately for you so I am going to be doing the week of December 9th through Sunday December 15th and again, I've got the horizontal planner. I am using sticker kits for weekly sticker kits and different pictures and just some kind of motivational stickers and things like that just to kind of keep me accountable for trying to maintain my weight and exercise. You kind of know the drill of what I'm trying to uh, do here, but I want it to be bright, cheery, and fun. I don't want to look at this next year and just cry because I wrote so many bad things about myself. I just want it bright and cheerful. So I am going to be using this kit from Lemon and Honey Studio. She's an Etsy um, shop. It's called Merry and Bright, and the pictures are not coming out as bright as they are in person. These are like a nice shade of green, some bright reds. This is a really true, really bright, bright, bright dark black and we've got some nice gorgeous shades of yellow but it's kind of getting lighted out in the lights so really looking forward to using this kit I've got the days of the week here this washi I'm going to have to try to finagle because this is um, you know really made for the vertical planner mine's horizontal so it doesn't quite line up so I will have to try to play with some scissors or my trusty exacto knife without killing myself this kit has got tons of boxes and half boxes and deco um, just all kinds of things just loving the variety in this kit so this should give me everything that I need to do here uh, for the pictures that I'm using this week I've got this really old picture of that's actually my sister Linda and that's myself many many moons ago um, there wasn't like shops all over the place and malls like you have uh, today. So uh, back in those days, we would uh, hop the train and we would go up to Boston. My mother always said Jordan Marsh in Boston had the best Santa Claus. So we always went there to get a picture taken. This is actually a picture of our grandsons, Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. They had gone up in the summer one year to Santa's Village up in New Hampshire and had their picture taken then picture of the jelly beans Tori and Tori pie and Aiden and uh, my daughter Sabrina always likes to go to the Bass Pro Shops I'm not sure if it's in like Mansfield Foxborough Attleboro area but they've been going there for years they just love the scenery and the backdrop and the kids really like Santa Claus there got my weight chart for the beginning of the week and the end of the week just so I can kind of see where I'm at someday I'll have to tell you how this little uh, icon of myself came about on Facebook so one time it was just a really really frustrating day and this is actually the only picture that I can find of my whole family the adults in my family it's from 1987 and of course my mom and dad are still alive my brother's still alive um, and you know my sisters uh, was still married at the time actually this is her wedding day and they had just gone to uh, I think the courthouse or a JP and got married but anyway so I got my mom and dad here um, my sister that just got married Linda her husband Frank my sister Donna and uh, she's got little Sarah with her because Sarah did not want to be separated from her mom for long my brother Bill and his wife Joan uh, Donna's husband Ken that's me with my big 80s hair and my husband Rick this is the year of the perms I don't know if everybody remembers that from 1987 but all the guys were getting perms and in the summer we would go to the Cape every weekend on the summer to go camping he would always tan not me I, I would get freckles and my lips would blister well they didn't blister they would just swell so 
and my, my eyes would swell if I was out in the sun too much. So anyway, those are the pictures that I'm going to use this week or attempt to use this week. Just in case I need some extra washi, I've got this glittery red one that's probably not showing up that it's sparkly. This is just from Amazon. I got a whole bunch of washi from them. And these are two new ones that I got from Simply Gilded. So I've got a dark hunter green one with some gold bows and then some gold with some hearts and just some vines. So anyway, I am going to shut the camera off, try to figure out this washi, do a few things down. I may end up doing the whole book and then just coming back on and um, and just videotaping it, but uh, do a voiceover at the end and speed it up. So anyway, I hope that you stick with me and we will chat again soon, everyone. <laughs>
So I did put down the washi strip up on top. I ended up cutting it to fit around that date. And then I turned the book around and cut it from the back side to get it to fit. I laid down the washi also that I usually put on the bottom of the kit. On the bottom of the page, I put that right under the big washi, and then I ended up taking the uh, the gold one from Simply Gilded and put that underneath too on the top. So now I'm just putting in the pictures, and you know I've had so much trouble with my my uh, sticky tape that I bought some glue, and it's supposed to be able to pick it up and reposition. You've got like five minutes for it to dry, so. I'm hoping that that works out better. It did give me a little bit of trouble, but I think it's going to work out in the end. So uh, I've got pictures of um, on the first page. I've got Maddie, Matt, and Jeff with Santa Claus at Santa's Village. I've got Tori Pie and Aiden at uh, Bass Pro Shops. And then I've got down the uh, older picture of my sister Linda and I at the Jordan Marsh Santa Claus back in Boston. Who knows exactly when, what year that was. And now I'm so glad that I found that picture and I was able to uh, print it out on the paper. Of It's the only picture that, that I could find that has all of us in there together. And it's such a shame. You, you know, you grow up and you have all these different photo opportunities with at weddings and get togethers and you don't always take them you're not in the same room or I never wanted to be in pictures I never liked the way I looked so I was always the one hiding when it was picture time and now I look at this picture and I am so happy that I have it and especially because Rick's got the perm because that was just such a funny time so many guys had the perms and you know it's just a, a a fad that went through but it was a fun fad so anyway now I'm putting down some of the uh, full boxes from the kit and because it is made for the uh, vertical I did have to cut it down a little bit to get it to fit in I wasn't too concerned about the top line because uh, I know I'm going to put some washi over on top but I did kind of want it to uh, measure out and be good uh, across the bottom but anyway I am liking this kit from honey and lemon or lemon and honey but um, just the colors, they're not coming out on this, but they are just so bright and vivid with the greens and the reds and the yellows and the blacks. It's just really a nice kit. So now over to the uh, right-hand side, I'm putting in the forecast, and it was a cold week. We had some negative numbers. I think the lowest we had was minus 5, and it looks like the high temperature was 34. We had some snow. Um, Friday night going into Saturday we had about six inches of snow so that was nice we haven't had a lot of snow this year so that was nice and it wasn't anything that was really too out of control or heavy so now I'm putting in uh, my elliptical steps and this week I also added um, the fit my Fitbit steps as well um, my Fitbit doesn't register the elliptical probably because my arms aren't moving because I'm typing or you know whatever I'm doing at work and you know if I wanted to put my hands on my knees it would register it but then I can't work and that's the whole point of having the elliptical at work so I think the best um, day that I had on the elliptical was Monday I had 23,500 steps and I did 9.40 miles and the best day on the Fitbit was probably Thursday I had um, 9,911 steps and which is just weird because I still had 22,000 steps on the elliptical so I must have done quite a bit of walking at work that I didn't realize I did go to the grocery store after work on Thursday so maybe maybe I kind of dilly dallied and um, did that plus I I did some cooking when I came home so maybe I just ended up doing a lot of walking around so anyway still um, putting down my steps on the elliptical on that page so I'm just going to try to get a little bit ahead of myself I think next after I do that I'm going to start putting in the chores for the week or task or anything like that that you might want to call it so on Monday, and you're going to see that there was just totally a waste of time, um, right in between the picture and the uh, elliptical stats and the weather, I had tried to put a little to-do thing in there because I wanted to make sure I'm going to be traveling the next week and I wanted to make sure that I got my suitcase out and, uh, you know, make sure I had them emptied. So first I picked this red thing to do when I put it up there. And then I tried to cut it that didn't work out 
Then you're going to see me change that red one over to a black one. I think I went to cut it and then it didn't fit. And then I said, oh, the heck with that. I got more. So then I took the black one and tried to do the same thing with trying to put it down and trying to cut it and then it wouldn't stick. So I just kind of had all kinds of trouble with that. So anyway, I finally did get it to stick and then I wrote in what I wanted to write under it to uh, just get the suitcases. And then I started to put in my uh, errands or things that I wanted to do during the week for my scheduling. So I ended up going back over to the left hand side of the book. And Monday I wasn't going to bring out all the nutcrackers because I just wasn't going to be here long enough. But I wanted to just take up a few of my favorites and scatter them around the house. Um, I just since I decided I wasn't going to put up my big tree in the living room this year I did want to put a small tree up in the office so I ordered a small tree from Amazon maybe I think it's about six feet but I think really it's not a little bit smaller than that so I ordered that from Amazon knowing it would be in in a couple of days and uh, I left that blank and then later as you'll see I'm going to take out that get suitcases thing so I ended up putting the get suitcases under Monday as well on Tuesday I knew thread tank was having like uh, getting ready for our sale so they had a couple of different styles on sale all week and so Tuesday was one of the days that I wanted to be sure so I did go on the thread tank and I got a couple of t-shirts and some of those kind of ones that look like they're cut on top kind of like a sweatshirt style but it's a really light material and then I wanted to start getting ready so I um, washed some lights a uh, light load uh, Wednesday was trash day I didn't oh I wanted to make sure I got my trash out because I was going out the next week and I thought just in case I forget I didn't want to have three weeks of trash there and it was also recycle and I've always got tons of cardboard because I do order so much online and just groceries coming online and it just gives you a lot of boxes so I wanted to get that out and then I also got on YouTube and I did about three or four hours on YouTube that night after work on Wednesday not sure why we did it but on Wednesday we just kind of hung around and had a couple of drinks so I put in my sugary gal pop girl but uh, drinking her wine Thursday I did uh, the wash the darks and then I went grocery shopping to get some things for Friday I was going to bring in some more crock pots for work so I made some beer cheese soup and some sloppy joes so Friday I had to remember to bring in the crock pots the Christmas tree came so I got that Christmas tree up and it's so so pretty it's uh, the new one of the new fiber optic lights so that's really pretty Friday we also stuck around for some cocktails so I used my sugary gal pop again for the wine girl and then I used the uh, Friday day um, Saturday I ended up going to work from 12 to 5 but because we did have six inches of snow overnight I did have to shovel on the way to work since I was on that same that side of the highway I stopped and filled my gas tank when I came home I had my Sensi a whip box for December so I was so excited so I got that opened and did my video and I even uploaded it that night so I was pretty happy I got all that done in one night on Sunday I ended up going from work to 2 to 6 and when I came home I um, uploaded um, the Erin Condren the my Black Friday shopping haul that had come in a while ago but I hadn't had a chance to film it and get it uploaded I did that I also got sure, made sure I got my sheets washed and I washed the towels and I did uh, go on YouTube for about four hours on Sunday night Saturday I um, I also put that sticker I put the sticker over where the Santa Claus picture was and I probably got about three or four hours on YouTube um, you know res responding to people and watching their videos and responding so um, as much as I didn't get to watch it every day this week um, I did um, try to did get, get so anyway I just got cut off there but um, anyway I was saying that um, even though I didn't get to watch YouTube every day to correspond to people and respond and watch their videos I did get a couple hours in this week so I was happy about that with everything else I needed to start doing so here I'm just trying to fill in the white spaces and you can see I already missed it but uh, that one that I was telling you about on Monday where I ended up uh, covering up that I, I found a sticker that said I can and I will and I just love that one and it was a black with a gold so I thought it fit 
really good there. On Tuesday, I added one of the uh, half boxes from the kit, um, and I put in today is a new beginning, a little overlay sticker. Um, on Thursday, I put in a motivation sticker. On Friday, I had a little Christmas tree that I put in off to the side to show that the Christmas tree came in, and I put that up. And it's a new fiber optic tree. It is just so pretty. I really, really like it. And I had another sticker that said Dare to Dream with some green in it that I thought would kind of fit in real nice with that. Um, had another sticker that I liked, which is strong, is beautiful. So I put that in. It's got some gold and red, and I just kind of filled in that spot on Saturday. Um, also on Sunday, and, and I know I've been kind of tracking my water and my exercise and the YouTube time. I knew I didn't do YouTube every day this week, but I did exercise every day this week, and I did get all my water in. So I used the check boxes on that for Sunday to have that all in. Now I'm just going to start filling in and adding some washi. And uh, I did get washi that came with this kit, but it, again, it's for the vertical, and then you've got to keep putting in like the headers. So I ended up, uh, decided to just use the uh, ones that I had from Amazon and from Simply Gilded just to kind of mix them up here and there. So on the bottom, I used the, uh, the dark green that has the uh, gold foil bows. And then I used that red one, which is a lot thinner than I thought, because it's it's sparkly in person, but you can't see the sparkles um, with with the ring light. It just kind of washes it out. But I was really surprised how thin it was that um, you could you could see the uh, the pictures underneath and um, that washy color strip divider that's on the uh, Erin Condren book. So I thought that was weird. Um, and of course, I tried to do nice and cut it nice and even, but it did not work for me. So now I'm uh, so I went back to putting that gold one in that has some hearts and the like the ivy leaf foiling. So I've got that above on the next strip, and I'm trying to be good and use that to cut it, and that worked this time. So I'm um, just doing the same across that other page, so that they uh, you know kind of look the same with the same um, borders going across. And now I've just got one more strip of washi to do. So I went back to using the uh, green one with the bows. I thought my video stopped because I was talking and nothing else was moving. But I'm going to put that down and then it just, uh, I think I just didn't have it down right. So I just kind of had to lift it up and do it over again. But I'm used to doing that. Nothing ever goes right the first time for me. But even if it doesn't, I have a lot of fun doing these. So again, I'm just uh, putting the washi down on that second page and then lifting it up so I can try to fix it and making a huge mess as I always do. But in the end, I guess it always works out. And even if it's not perfect, that's, that's fine with me. When I look at this book, I want to be motivated. I want to have some fun memories and I want to look at it and just see that it's bright and colorful. So now I think I'm just going to probably just add in a little bit of deco that came from the kit that I really didn't have too many spaces to use. Um, I used the Hello Weekend that came on it that I put above Saturday. I think I used um, a coffee cup that I put on Sunday because I didn't have room to have it on uh, Saturday. And of course, Saturday and Sunday, I love my coffee. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to your comments and your suggestions on how I can improve these. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up, and we'll chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.